Welcome back to the Tech Bench. Today I'm going to talk briefly about the Hafler DH220. This was a great amplifier. Very, very little ever went wrong with it. But one thing that did happen quite often was the power switch would burn up. Um, wasn't the greatest quality in the world. Uh, and, you know, they're 40 years old, so anything can happen. Um, the power switches on these are mounted right here. They're just basically just a push-in. Um, they have a little snap deal on the side, and even the lugs aren't soldered. They're a spade lug. The lugs never burn. It's usually just internally in the switch. So what I replace these with is the Fillmore 30-395 switch. And they are a drop-in replacement with one exception. The two wires here are your switch, and this one over here is for your LED, for your light, because it's an illuminated switch. If you put it in pin for pin, uh, the light will stay on all the time. So what you have to do is reverse these two pins here. Uh, so the light only comes on when the power's on. Now the other thing I do with these things is a signal mod. Originally they used really, really, really cheap uh, RCA jacks and then just twisted pair wire. So I make a 9 inch and a 14 inch. Um, I use the RG174, the shielded cable here. Uh, I use that and I make 9 inch and 14 inch. And I use the Fillmore 45-128G jacks. And they're an insulated jack or isolated jack, but you don't need it. I mean you can if you can find something, I only use these because they're readily available. They seem to always be a good quality jack. Um, and my local distributor has them. Um, but you put them in, let's see if I get the camera around here, I put them in, tie them in to the ground and to the shield on that, run those up to the boards, and in my opinion, there's the other one, there it is, in my opinion it really helps uh, clean the signal up. Uh, originally these twisted pairs, they run right along the bottom, right along the power wires. I generally like to bring them up, you know, yes they're still in front of the the capacitors and and uh, and other things, but it, they don't hum, they don't buzz. They're just a better quality cable all around. I think. Again, that was the RG one seventy four U cable, and the Fillmore jacks were the forty five dash one twenty eight G, and the switch is a thirty dash three ninety five. And there's a million mods people do to these things, but this is all I'm going to address in this video. I'm going to do another video here on the next day or so on the, um, what was it, it was the DH-101, and that's going to be more of a full rebuild, so I'll get into that one. This video I'm just uh, just demonstrating the, uh, the power switch and the signal wires. So, anyway, that's it. Goodbye.